Hey team, you're here on Mountain Maths episode number two, talking to one Brian from Ali's Fresh Pressed. And today we're gonna to be talking all about how maths is used in a small to medium enterprise business. In this case, a juicing business. But uh, yeah, we talk about some interesting things around how percentages are really important in all sorts of places. Um, how you need to know about the quantities of different fruits going into the juice and also about various business implications as well. So I do wanna say it's been a juicy conversation. Oh, it's been a pithy conversation. Can I say that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. True story. So stick around, <laughs> we're getting straight into that. I'm here in Springwood in the Blue Mountains, New South Wales, Australia, and quite a lovely little setting here with Brian from Ali's Juices, and discussing how we're going to use mathematics in a small, well, no longer that small business. Well, yeah, <laughs> still an SME for sure. Still a small to medium yes. enterprise. That's it. You're not on the NASDAQ just yet? No, no, um, not quite yet. It might take another year or so, um, but we'll get there. Yeah, okay. I think we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, well, do you want to give us maybe yes. a background as to how you got into making juice. Yeah. You got, you're a juice company. Yes, yes. So how, what, what got you started into the juice making? The juice biz. Yeah. Um, well, thanks for having me, by the way. That's fine. Uh, it's a real honor. <laughs> um, yeah, got into the juice biz. Um, it was actually my wife. So before she was my wife, um, she would experiment with different little, uh, different fruits and vegetables and she had a juicer. She bottled some up. Um, got a few friends to try it and they thought it was fantastic and she went to a farmer's market um, to, to, to sell her juices um, with a, you know crooked little labels on them and the, the little caps yeah. and, um, and on her first day we, we literally met at, the, at that market um, so we became friends first and you know, then, 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 then we got together, and then eventually we became business partners. So, so there's a love, there's a love story behind there, all absolutely, this as well. That's absolutely, absolutely. So I can't <laughs> say that I got into juice uh, for, for love. I mean, the answer really is for love, right? <laughs> that's it, that's it. I did it for love. Good. Okay. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so, how how long did it take yeah. to actually build that business sure. up? Like, how did that work? Yeah. Well, it, it was a side hustle for a good five years. Um, we were making the juice in a commercial kitchen um, and you know, you get fruits and veggies and put them in this big juice sum um, and, then, and then you're bottling them, you're labeling the bottle, you're capping it and then you're processing it. Um, and, then, and then all the, I guess, logistics and operations involved of getting them out to the farmer's markets and back in. And so we, it was very much a farmer's markets business for five years. Right. And then um, it was about 2018 that we both, um, Ali and I quit our jobs and, um, and then started wholesaling to, to cafes. And that's probably when it started to So that means a you, bit you bring business. your juice to the cafes and they sell it for you, essentially? Correct. So correct. If, if I go and have breakfast at a place in Springwood or whatever, yes. double espresso, they sell yes, stuff, right? Yes, that's right, that's right, double espresso, uh, ristretto. Double ristretto. Ristretto, me. yes. Non-coffee drinker here, so <laughs> double ristretto. Um, if, if I go there and yes. I buy a fruit juice, yes. that will be your juice? Yes, yes. So uh, we, we sell it in a small grab-and-go size, 300 mil. Okay. Um, to so the cafes you're To selling. the cafes, yeah. yep. And then we also sell them in one litres. Oh, okay, yeah. So a cafe might just have our little ones up on a, on a display fridge, or they might take our one litres and pour them by the glass. Okay. Which is uh, what Double Ristretto is doing. Awesome. Yeah, so if you go in there and you ask for a glass of juice, you'll be served in Ali's juice. Fantastic. Yeah. Do you use maths at all in your job? I mean, obviously you do because I've got you here, but where yes. do you use mathematics in your, um, yeah. as a small business owner? Yes. Someone that deals with quantities, presumably? Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, certainly in a number of areas. There are some good tools out there, like we, Microsoft Excel is like the single best thing out there uh, to, yeah, yeah. to do all the calculations for you. Um, 
but um, we teach that in school, by the yeah. way. So Microsoft Excel. Oh, really? Like, yeah, we, we try to get awesome. kids to like learn how to use it because ultimately, when you get out there, yeah, and you're I mean, in businesses and stuff, it's unfortunately, yeah, it's all Microsoft Excel. I mean, it's just I, I I I took a real interest in it. I think it's a it's a really cool, creative way to look at maths. Yeah, and uh, and you can really like just do whatever you want on there once you understand how to use it. Yeah. Um, but to answer your question. Um, so uh, probably the first thing that comes to mind is in production. So when you're making juice, um, you need to think about the yield, what's called the yield of a fruit. So you could get an apple, like a, a, a kilo of apples makes up about, about half a litre of juice. So it has a yield of 50%. Okay. Right? So the kilo and litres is, 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 is what you're looking at there and the yield is what converts from kilo to litre. Interesting. So it's yeah. a percentage. We're talking about that's a percentage right. from litres to... Yeah, that's right. right. Kilos to litres. Spot kilos on. Litres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and some, some fruits and vegetables have less yield and some have more. Right. So and it depends on the juiciness of the fruit, presumably. Spot on. Right? Spot on. So oranges would be pretty high on that list? Correct. So orange is about 55% yield. Right. Watermelon is closer to 60, 65. Makes sense. Um, what sort then, of bottom end? What are the like the really, uh, the really annoying, yeah, the annoying yes. ones? Yes, uh, beetroot. Yeah, yeah, ginger, beetroot, yeah. carrot. Like these are about twenty percent. Gotcha. So, so that that means that you need a kilo of produce just to make two hundred eggs. Spot yeah. on. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So you need to know all that. You need to be aware yeah. of what fruits have the biggest yields and how to. That's then, right. How much to purchase, presumably, to make e exactly. Yeah. So you kind of. The way that it works is almost you, you work backwards, right? And you say, well, you know what your ingredient needs to be um, because they're, they're, they're blends that we've already decided on. Uh, for example, a gingered apple has 92% um, has, uh, of apple juice, 4% mm -hmm. of ginger, and 4% of lemon, lemon right? Gotcha. So three yeah. ingredients. Um, so that's what you need to get to in leaderage. So then you have to work backwards to say, well, First of all, um, how many liters am I making? How yep. many bottles do I need to make? And how many liters does that represent? Once you've worked out that total literage number, then you convert it into kilos. I like it. You know that what? Makes Let's, sense? We're yeah. going to do a problem question. Okay. At the end of this video, I'll put up a problem question that we can try to solve to try nice. to make one of your juices. I like that. Yeah, we'll absolutely. So That's a great around, idea. Stick around at the end of the video and see if you can, like Ali's cold pressed, figure out how much produce you need to make a juice that's right <laughs> that's that, awesome. makes, that makes that's a lot awesome. of sense so wh where else okay so you, yeah. in, the, in the contents of the juices you yeah, obviously yeah. need to know about that but where else is there any other places that you might need to be do maths numerate yeah yeah absolutely um uh we're always looking at our margin right which is our profitability so um what's called the gross profit margin okay. um that's our profit as a percentage of our total sales if say a bottle um, we sell for six dollars yep. and it costs us three dollars, our gross profit is three dollars and our gross profit margin is three divided by six, fifty percent. I got it. Right. Gotcha. So so fifty percent of the six dollars yes, goes to you. That's spot on. Gotcha. Exactly. And that's that's what matters. Exactly. So you got your gross profit margin, which is just when you look at the actual product, what it costs you to make it, and what you sell it for. Yep. And then your net profit margin is when you add on all of the other costs that are involved, for example, my, uh, our wages, the graphic designer that we pay for, yep. hosting a website, um, the rent for the, for the farmer's market stalls, or in our case now, it's a lot to do with delivery and logistics. Once you add in those costs... It chips away at your, at your margins. So that's using right. using the terminology now. Very good. It chips away at the margins. And that's then right. And eventually you're left with something. Ex exactly. And what you're left with is called your net margin. Oh, very good. Right? So your net margin is, after all the costs, you might be left with a dollar out of the $6 sale. Okay. And your net profit margin is 1, one divided six. by 6, which is like 15%. I'll call it 16% approximately. There we go. Very good. <laughs> Anyway, great. That's, that's, yeah. that's really helpful. Yeah. Is there like, you have to worry about tax and all that kind of business or not yes. so much? Uh, yes, you do. You do. Um, not so much. Look, in the, in the early years, you don't pay any tax because you're making a loss. But this is, this is interesting, you right? You don't pay tax on no... no profit, yeah, that's right. right. Exactly. You pay tax on profit. So once you've got, at the end of the financial year, uh, you calculate 
everything that you've sold. So all of like, if we're selling at $6 a bottle, for example, yep. uh, well, we, we, tend, we sell it to cafes for cheaper, actually. So we sell it for $3.25. Um, if we sell a million units, then that's uh, 3.25 million. Um, and if that costs me in total, say 1.5 million, um, then I'm left with uh, 1.75 mil profit and I pay 26% of that so they quite, yeah, in tax. That's where you start to pay tax. That's when you right? pay tax. All but it, tax rates, marginal tax rates and all that. That's that right. Comes in that's all right. Is it a company tax thing? It's a company uh, tax. It's flat. I guess it's no. it a little bit more complicated, but nonetheless, it's still percentages it. you have to worry about. That's that. it. And when in your earlier years, when your cost is higher than what you make, you're making a loss, you get what's called a tax credit. So okay, it's I almost like an that. asset, right? Because then later on you can say, wait, wait, I've paid so yes. much more. Yes. Like, I've sunk hundreds of thousands yes. of dollars into this thing. I can't pay all this tax now because I've spent all this money. Yes. Okay. And they're like, oh, okay, well, because you, you know, you were almost like owed tax yeah. in a way. Yeah. Interesting. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I mean, final question. Yes. What's the plan for Ali's? Are you going to expand yeah. Ali's cold pressed into other yes. areas, or keep it juice, or like yes. what's the? Yes, good question. Do you have to have an expansion? Yes. Well, concept. I think it's nice to, because, I think it's nice to always be chasing something. Right. Um, so we're now in fifteen hundred locations across the country. So you can buy a juice all the way up to Cairns and all the way down to Launceston in Tasmania. Wow. And in South Australia too. Um, so. One of our goals is to make sure that we are in all the major cities and that we have a presence there. Cool. So it's not just one or two cafes, but we have 50, 100 cafes and um, hotels and grocers that buy our juice. Um, we're also looking at new products, as you said. That's yep. great. We're looking at our, uh, a, a ready to blend smoothie product, uh, which we're very excited about. Ready to blend yeah. smoothie products. So you give them a jar that's got all the elements in there and you just chuck it in and go, that's, it. That's yeah, it. You right. add a bit of coconut milk or skim milk or yeah. almond milk or oat milk. Awesome. And then you can make a smoothie. Great. That's another product. Will you sell that to, yeah. to people at home or would you sell it to cafes? Uh, well, our, our, our business tends to be uh, like 95% is B2B, so that's business to business, as opposed to B2C, which is business to consumer, oh, that's right? Great. Got it. That's yeah. right. So, so our focus will be on helping out the cafes that are too busy um, and don't have time to get everything together to make a, a smoothie and um, pump it out in a cost-efficient manner. Yep. Um, from a mass perspective, funnily enough, the labor costs have gone up quite significantly. Right. So that's the wages. Uh, so therefore, the cost of making a smoothie in-house and getting somebody to prepare it is, is it costs a lot more than what it used to. Gotcha. So in some ways, we would be saving them money uh, by having a ready-to-make solution. Alrighty, so that's been Brian from Ali's Fresh Pressed. Brian, thanks. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for coming on. Thanks for and telling me. us about the um, mathematics behind a small to medium enterprise like Ali's Fresh Pressed. Wait, can we do a plug? Can we? Where, where do they buy? Can they buy oh, it online? Yes. Um, Please. Yes. Uh, I'll give you the mic back. Hold on. Hold on. Go for it. Go. Um, yes, you can buy it online. Yeah. Uh, so if you look up Ali's Foods or Ali's Cold Pressed. Um, yeah, just go have a little browse, um, say hello. And uh, What's your favourite juice? My favourite juice at the moment is our Valencia Orange. Straight up. 100% Aussie seasonal OJ. That's it. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'll catch you around, team. How good's the uh, it's really nice. situation? Unintended musical accompaniment to There's the interview. something very authentic about a harp. I don't know what it is.
but it's something well, pure almost. Hmm, I'm, making it, I'm making an association here, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. With the angel and the, yeah, of yeah, course. Cupid playing That's arm. the one, yeah, exactly. exactly. This is a, well, it is a love story still, and I yes. feel like it's appropriate. Yes.